Today's challenge is about matching prices to products. It's a bit of a puzzle, but if we think through it step by step, you'll see it's not that hard. What we need to do is find the price for each product ID in table 1 by checking table 2. But here is a twist. If the first product ID in table 1 doesn't have a price, we'll look at the next ID listed in the same row. The idea is to fall back on another product ID until we find a match. Start by converting both tables into Excel tables. Highlight each one and press Ctrl T. This makes things easier to work with inside Power Query because we can refer to the tables by names. Now import question table 1 into Power Query. Go to the Data tab and click from table range. Since the first table is the one where we need to find prices, it's the starting point to our process. We'll use table 2, which has the prices, to match up the data and fill in the gaps. When you load table 1 into Power Query, look at the formula bar. You'll see a line that starts with something like Excel current workbook name table 1 content. This line is important because it's the path to the data inside table 1. Copy this path. We are going to use this to connect table 2 to table 1. Let's add a custom column. In this new column, paste the path we copied, but change table 1 to table 2. Don't forget to rename this custom column price. Think about it like this. We are essentially creating a giant cross-reference, where every row in table 1 gets connected to every row in table 2. This is called a cross-join, but we don't need every possible combination. We only want to keep the rows where the product IDs in table 1 match those in table 2. Here is where things get a little tricky. For each row in table 1, there might be more than one product ID. To deal with this, we need to turn the product IDs in each row into a list. To do that, we use the text split function. We create a variable, let's call it car ID, that splits the product IDs into a list like this. Let car ID equal text split, open the bracket, product ID, comma. Now instead of trying to match just one ID, we have a list of all the product IDs and we can check each one against table 2. Now that we have a list of product IDs for each row, we need to filter table 2 so that we only keep the rows where the product IDs match. We'll use the table select rows function for this. The idea is to keep only the rows in table 2 where the product ID matches one of the IDs in our list. Here is the syntax for the filter. Each list contains open the bracket car ID comma underscore product ID and close the brackets. Now that we've filtered the rows down to only the ones with matching product IDs, we can focus on getting the price. To get the prices column, we can add square brackets price right before the end of our formula. To get only the first element of our list, you can open the curly brackets and type 0, which means first element. As you see, there is an error in row number 4, because there were no matches. To handle it, let's use try otherwise expression. And that's how you solve the merge challenge. See you in the next video.